just off I-95 in St. Mary, Georgia, near the Florida-Georgia line. Hmm, that's a good man name. Someone should use that. Lies a state park called Crooked River State Park. A little bit of lake life and a little bit of swamp life, but 100% southern Georgia. So y'all follow me. I'll show you around. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two. I sure would appreciate it. I wanted to tell you guys about this great app too, RV Parky. What a wonderful app to go find campgrounds all over this great country of ours. And it's absolutely free. Check your Play Store. So let's start this video off with, well, a variation of my regular disclaimer. This is an active alligator area. So while I know they're cute and cuddly, <laughs> do not ever approach an alligator. Also, don't move firewood. Always buy your firewood either at the park or within two miles of the park. And pets are welcome as long as you remember the few basic rules. Keep them on a lead no longer than six feet. Do not leave them unattended. And for the love of all things holy, clean up after your pet. Now on to this campground. This park is located just a few miles off of I-95 on the southern tip of Georgia's colonial coast. This is the perfect spot for enjoying and viewing the intercoastal waterways and the maritime forests. Campsites are surrounded by palmettos and my favorite, Spanish moss draped oak trees, while the cottages are set near the tidal river. A boat ramp is popular with anglers who often take to the water before sunrise. Just down the road is the ferry to the famous Cumberland Island National Seashore, known for its secluded beaches and wild horses. Absolutely stunning thing to witness. The park has nature trails that wind through the forest and the salt marshes, and hikers may see gopher tortoises, fiddler crabs, herons, and other birds. There's a nature center that features fish, snake, turtles, and other animals native to coastal Georgia. Some visitors may venture to nearby ruins of Tabby Mill, built around 1825 and later used as a starch factory during the Civil War. Let me tell you a little bit about this 500-acre bit of gorgeousness. There is a bait and tackle shop because you can, with proper Georgia license, fish in the lake. There are 11 cottages, and there are 63 tent, trailer, and RV campsites that have 20 and 30 amp service, as well as water. And there is a dump station. There's a pioneer campground, which I think is what most other campgrounds call a group campground. There are four rentable picnic shelters, as well as two rentable group shelters. There is a boat ramp and a dock, as well as a nature center and a playground, and there's Wi-Fi available in the park office. There is quite a bit to do at this park. You can rent bikes as well as use your own bike to bike around the campground. There's a trail called the Colonial Coast Birding Trail where you can view all of the local birds. Private boats are permitted. You can fish, like I said, with a proper Georgia license. And geocaching. I highly suggest you look this up. It's kind of fun. There are guided kayak trips, as well as four miles of hiking trails. There's a small fee to use the miniature golf course, and there's paddling, as well as boat tours, and with prior park approval, you can even have your wedding there. There are a few attractions nearby that, in my opinion, definitely warrant checking out. The Cumberland Island National Seashore, Golden Isle of Georgia, Hartwell Broadfield Plantation State Historic Site, beautiful Jekyll Island, Laura S. Walker State Park and Golf Course, the Okefenoki Swamp National Wildlife Refuge, and the Ultima Plantation are just a few of the things this area has to offer. I'll list them all in the description. 
Ooh, and I almost forgot. If you're traveling south on I-95 and you find yourself at exit 104 in Pooler, Georgia, make sure you stop in and see my friends over there at the Pie Society. So hey, if you really enjoy this kind of content, would you please consider supporting this channel by clicking one of these links in the description. Thanks a bunch. Well listen, if you're looking for a place to park your rig for a day or two or maybe even a week, this park right here is 100% Southern Georgia with a little bit of something for everyone. So listen y'all, thanks for coming along with me. Until next time, y'all going out there and be nice to one another. I love y'all. God bless. Bye bye.